All right, everybody. This is the voice of Mother Doris, founder of I Am Sent Me, builder of the storehouse. Today is uh, today is August the eighth, two thousand and eighteen. I'm going to throw it in on this video uh, today with us in the field. Uh, I want to say the double is upon us. Uh, we see that eighth and uh, the eighth month and the eighth day of 2018. It looks like it's getting ready to sprinkle. Look like I see and feel some sprinkle, but we won't be here long. I'm just on the field today to say a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, with everything going on in our land, there's a lot going on in the land. Uh, you feel it. I feel it. Um, and uh, uh, you don't really have to be too deep in the spirit to feel it. Uh, and uh, we have to be careful uh, that we do stay in the spirit and not get too deep in the flesh. Because in the flesh we could find ourselves, um, you understand, uh, warring. Uh, warring. Uh, just going back and forth and nothing being said and nothing being accomplished. I was looking uh, just recently um, over some of the things that we have said down through the years. Um, I'm throwing it out here, just throwing it out because I'm on the field. Um, today, like I said, is August the 8th, 2018. This is the voice of Mother Doris, founder of I Am Sent Me, builder of the storehouse. Um, I can't say that enough because I want to get it in your spirit. Um, and I was looking back over certain things that I had said before. And uh, we're not talking a day ago or two days ago or three days ago or a week ago. We're talking um, years ago. And one thing that I know, and I don't call myself a prophet, uh, tis or a prophet uh, down those lines. Uh, like I said, those are areas that we can define easily and walk in it very easily. But I just love what God has um, not only anointed me for, but appointed me for. I just love that 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 uh, that just uh, beautiful word, mother. Um, and I'm I'm I won't even say I'm just comfortable there. I just feel that's just who I am, um, and. Uh, I've been that way for a very uh, long time, even when I was young, having to sit with the seasoned mothers and, you know, preach on the same platform. Well, somebody just left their little ball right here. Uh, isn't that amazing? Tell you, we might find anything on the field. <laughs> uh, might find anything on the field. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, didn't come out here looking for a ball. Uh, somebody might come back and want it so it'll be it'll be on the field right where they left it Isn't that amazing uh, but I just I, I I know that that's that's my uh, where I've been chosen uh, and uh, you know that's where I I want to stay I want to stay I want to stay I want to stay so with all the titles that people want to put on you, you really got to know who you are in this day to be really effective. Uh, and I believe I'm most effective in that, in that, uh, that area. Uh, but I was looking back over things that we said years ago. And one thing I, when I brought up about the prophet, prophetess, is that when you are really one to send to the nation uh, and put in the kingdom, uh, you know, when God give you something to say, you just don't say it one day. Uh, we covered that that up, but without hand. But you don't just say it one day. You continually to say it over and over. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel, and uh, the word just comes like that. You say it again and again and again. And even though it looks like no one is getting with what you say, um, whenever you are really a true prophet or prophetess of God. Uh, it take time for that word to catch up. <laughs> you know, I, I look back over certain days and I'm, I'm just amazed at how slow the church is. And so, you know, I, I was saying that to say this is that uh, the church really do have to catch up. At one time, I'm 
looking at you and looking at that building down there at 709 and and it looked like a church but it's not a church uh, uh, and they will correct you if you call it a church they'll tell you no we are a center a center for spiritual living is what they will say and so many people will come and they will get offended and get upset when they weren't getting the help that they wanted and so the first thing that will come out of their mouth is you call yourself a church and how often do people call themselves a church but don't produce what it is to be a church of course we know that we are the church but when you put us in a building we should be that much more effective uh, but I didn't come here to say that on today. I see the lightning uh, coming from the sky. Look like another fallen angel. But anyway, um, uh, I wanna I wanna be able to say this and hope somebody hear me uh, in the spirit. Uh, in the spirit. Um, uh, when I say the church is just, you know, it, one minute they look like they're catching up and then the next minute they get a hit and they just like they want to go back 40 years. I, I want us to really understand what we are doing and begin to take a stand. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm out here in this field. Uh, God's church have got to take a stand. We're either going to be for the world or we're going... Uh, to be for God and just because we say we're for the we're not for the world uh, doesn't mean that we don't want to see the world saved we don't want to see those that are in the world uh, saved but then we have to have a certain stand when the world looks at us the world has to be able to see a difference we can't be doing what the world do and acting like the world do and 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 mingling with the world and act like we are so uh, buddy buddy and so associate uh, a social associative I don't know where that word is coming from but anyway to to the world uh, um, we got to be able to say when it's when you're wrong you're wrong and when you're right you're right uh and uh you can't split the fence and straddle it and all that kind of stuff because you want to be popular you want to be famous or you want to be uh, uh uh what is it there the word that i keep hearing you want to be of great influence that's that word um you know that's being tossed on the table uh, now and i'm asking what do you want what is it that you want to influence uh and all if you got to sit at the table to, to have influence what is it that you really want to influence i saw something the other day and i'm saying it i gotta say it because i'm out here in the field i feel free uh you know uh you know because you see so much and i i just happen it just come up on my youtube i don't know these people from from uh john adam blue uh black or orange and purple you know, i don't know these folks like that to pick on them and like i said i don't talk about preachers i pray for you you understand it's my job to uh uh and one of the strong callings that i do have is to pray for you um in 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 all areas uh uh strongholds and you know demonic forces uh sickness diseases uh uh you understand uh, things that 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 you don't normally want to face yourself, uh, and uh, I want to say this, and I, I want to hurry, hurry hurry up and get off this field. Uh, if associative is not a word, then we have to find out where that what that is. But I heard that. Uh, and anyway, we can't be too close to the world. But nevertheless. Um, you know, and I say this, and I've been saying it, and won't take it back. I tell people that, you know, I know I won't be popular. Uh, it's not popularity that I seek, but I know that I will populate. You know, and I don't ask to know the people that I know. I don't ask for the folks to come searching for me to search for me. But, you know, I just say whatever the Spirit of the Lord say to say, and that's it. You know, I won't take it back, uh, uh, especially if it is standard and uh, rooted and grounded upon the Word of God. I cannot say things of my own. And so, you know, we really do have to be careful with this church and, and careful of those that are really in leadership that's over uh, the church, that's really got the, 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 the face on the church. Uh, uh, and it's the first face that people are seeing. We have to be very careful in these areas because uh, nowadays we really don't see a lot of seasoned folks out there uh, that have real, are really... Um, like the backbone and the and the uh the eyes and the ears and the legs and all of that for uh for the church and if they are uh those are the ones that you you want to sit somewhere in the corner and have them be still like the mothers uh, okay well anyway uh 
I'm, I'm concerned because, you know, we see so many of our young preachers and things like that that are out there. And don't get, don't get upset because I had to laugh at them. I had to laugh today as I was sitting in glory. I was like, glory, we still wanting to get out of the parking lot and, you know, and, and, and all. And, and yet, you know, overnight people are getting famous overnight. Uh, and you're wondering what, what did they go through besides sitting on side of somebody that already have a name. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Uh, and all. And so you have to laugh and can't allow the spirit of Elijah. And I'll talk about that. Not right now. Uh, uh, to fall upon you. You just have to uh, trust God that you know uh, whatever it is that you are doing. And I will say this quickly. I got to say this quickly. That And it goes like this. Um, I, I stopped getting offended. And I hope somebody get that that's coming on the field. That's on the field with me right now. Um, we got to stop getting offended at those that really look like they gone, they have gone before us. Look like they beat us to uh, uh, to certain places and things like that. And like, where did they come from? We can't get upset with that anymore. At least I don't do it anymore because I'm like, th you know, when I looked at it and the Spirit of God really set me down, the Spirit said they just really don't have need of me yet. You understand? Strong enough. A strong enough need for me. See, things really haven't gotten that bad yet. You understand? The things that I see going on, you know, now people want to put a little band-aid on it. But see, it really hasn't gotten that bad yet that, uh, thank you, Lord, that, that, uh, there's my FedEx, uh, 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 that, that they have to call you understand on 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 someone like myself you you think i'm lifting myself up i'm just telling the truth you understand uh it, it times really haven't uh, in the church and and around the church and outside the church really haven't gotten that bad yet or 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 they would have need of i am sent me they would have need of what mother doris do they would have need of the anointing that really is on uh, my life and other folks that are like myself and so I really stopped getting offended and, and upset and I just basically look at it that they really the church really yet doesn't have need of I am sent me yet uh, uh, and so I must continue to do what I'm doing uh, and make sure that I stay ready uh, because I feel Jesus right there. I feel him. I feel Jesus uh, because you know you never know when you might be called immediately uh, to the scene and somebody's life is really dependent on it and you don't have uh, time to preach a long sermon you just have uh, all you all you all you can do at that moment is just uh, 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 speak a word or send a word you understand but but um, I have to stay ready and, and that's one of the reasons why we come to the field another reason why we're at the rest area and other areas now and even at the well good God Almighty to show you the power of God and the, the length in which God will go go to to set up people 